guys, welcome to today's video. This is, I guess, kind of a diary entry. I just wanted to sit down and talk about my own feelings and thoughts and perspective and just, I guess, kind of like vent um, about all of the horrible and just miserable things that are going on in our country right now. This video is obviously relating to the protesting and the rioting and racism and all of the violence and just horror. This is obviously my own opinions, my own perspective. I am not trying to tell anybody else's story. I am never trying to sway people to believe what I believe and think the way that I think. I'm just sharing my perspective. This is my outlet to express myself. If you go on social media right now, pretty much everybody is voicing their opinion, which I think is good. Since I have a YouTube channel, I figured why not make a video expressing how I feel instead of writing like a 10 paragraph essay on Facebook or something. So I don't really have like a specific plan for this video or goal in mind. So if I'm all over the place, I apologize. Also, before I get started, I would like to invite everyone to join me in a global peace mass meditation that is taking place tonight, Tuesday. If you are not familiar with Lior Alexandra, she is a creator here on YouTube. She has incredible content as far as spirituality and healing and self-improvement in general. She's going to be hosting a mass meditation for global peace and unity. The last time she did one of these, it was an amazing experience, even just like on an individual level. It is a very powerful and effective way to meditate when there are thousands of people all gathering at one time all across the globe, setting the same intention of world peace and unity and healing our planet and raising the vibration of our planet. So I will put all of the information down in the description box. Don't forget to set the reminder on the video so that way when she starts, you will get notified. Meditation never harmed anyone. So the more people that join in on this, the energy is amplified and it is that much more effective and powerful. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel or don't. Honestly, I don't really care at this point. Do whatever you want in your life. Like I said, I don't really have a like plan in mind of what I'm trying to even really talk about here. The first thing that I want to touch on though is just the concept of racism in general. Um, obviously, I am a white girl from a middle-class suburban community. I have never been faced with racism the way that other people have. I have seen it secondhand. In my own shoes, I have not had to deal with that head on. And I can only imagine. And what I want to just say here, now I am all about unconditional love and love will heal the planet and positivity, but I'm also a realist. And so I'm just going to keep it real with you. If you are someone who does not like someone because of the color of their skin, if the color of somebody's skin makes you fearful, makes you think you're better than them, that they are less than you, that they do not deserve the same rights as you, or anything about somebody that's just different than you, if you have a problem with that, I really want you to understand that you are actually the problem. Um, you really need to do some soul searching. You are so unevolved. You are so behind. It, Please go find yourself. Seek professional help if that's what you need to do. At this point, first of all, the concept of racism has always been psychotic and ridiculous. If your skin color is your skin color, you don't you don't choose it. So if you're white and you don't like somebody because they're black, please understand that you literally could have been born black. Especially in the year 2020, this is ridiculous. I can't even believe that this is uh, I can't even believe that this is a thing. It does not resonate with me. I can't relate to it. I don't understand it. I cannot wrap my brain around it. I do not comprehend the concept of somebody's skin color meaning anything. We're all humans and it is the most small-minded and just pathetic and sad belief system if you think that the color of somebody's skin has anything to do with who they are as a person. And more importantly, if you think that it makes you any better than them. Okay, that's all I'm gonna Welcome say. Welcome to planet Earth. We are not all the same. Anyways, so obviously there's all this rioting and protesting and you know, this is this is different than, than what we typically see when it comes, I guess, to protesting. It would be different if it was like one person or one group of people that were acting in this way as far as property damage and violence and lighting buildings on fire and harming 
people, places, and things, smashing the windows of cop cars. It's not a small group of people. It's a lot of people across the country. There's a lot of people that are completely outraged and acting in a really scary way. I mean, there's people that are literally afraid to leave their homes. If you go on social media, you'll see so many different viewpoints on this. There's a lot of people, way more than I would have ever imagined, that are completely understanding of why people are acting this way. There's a lot of people that are supporting it. There's a lot of people that are like, yeah, I see you, I get it. You, you tried to protest silently, it, you know, it didn't work. You're outraged. On the other side of that, there's a lot of people that are pissed and are like, you are no better, you're a criminal, you know, destroying property and hurting other people and acting in this way is not gonna solve anything. Very divided beliefs on this. And then of course we have the people that are doing these silent peaceful protests, which bless their hearts. I think that's amazing. I definitely don't support the violence and the outrage um, and, and the way that people are conducting themselves. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't think violence is the answer. It truly gives me anxiety. Just I don't believe that darkness and hate and violence and crime is the answer. But the thing is though, I don't know what it is like to be in these people's shoes. I don't really feel like it's right for anybody to really make a judgment. I mean, I get we all have our opinions and what I am more focused on and kind of like what my message in making this video is i'm not really focused on the actions being taken yes it is important that we are aware that we know what's going on in the world that we pay attention i find it more worrisome the emotional state that these people must be in to act in this way as we know, this is a fact at this point, our outer reality is a direct reflection of our inner reality. And this is the case on an individual level. So your personal outer reality is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs that are going on internally. But even more so when it's on a larger scale, our collective consciousness. If there are a lot of people, an entire country, an entire race that is feeling a certain way, you know, yeah, we're gonna see those feelings reflected in our outer reality and the actions that these people are taking. In my opinion, we need to be a little more compassionate and focus a little bit more on what has happened to these people that have led to them feeling in a way that makes them go light a building on fire. Again, it'd be different if it was one small group of people. No, there's a lot of people throughout the whole country and a lot of cities that are doing this. And that is what is more upsetting to me is, okay, if I put myself in those people's shoes or try to, I can only imagine because I don't know. But for me to bash the windows of a cop car, light a building on fire, walk into a store and grab all the merchandise and just walk out with it. In order for me to act that way, I'd have to be pretty broken on the inside. Heartbroken, angered, outraged, and just like beaten down to my core. And that's what I really think about is the emotional and mental state of people that are out there acting this way. I do believe that people have been pushed to their limit. How many people have to get murdered? How many people have to get wrongly accused and sentenced to, you know, life in prison? How many people have to get literally killed for seemingly doing nothing wrong? Um, you know, other than having a certain skin color. How long does this have to happen? And how many times does this have to happen before people are gonna snap? I mean, I think that's what we're seeing now. You can only push somebody so far. And again, that doesn't mean that I support what they're doing. I don't think violence and crime is the answer. But again, I always go back to the perspective of, wow, these people must be feeling so angered and treated so unfairly and like they just can't take it anymore. You know, it reminds me of like when you're dealing with a toxic person and they push you and they push you and they provoke you and they go deeper and they make lower blows and they literally push you to the point where you mentally and emotionally can't take it anymore and you do snap and you do act crazy and you act in a way that is very much out of your character that you would probably not normally ever act. And then as soon as you freak out, what does the toxic person do? Oh, whoa, you're a psychopath. Oh, it's like, no, you provoked me and pushed me to the point where I had a, a mental breakdown and I couldn't take it anymore. And now I've acted in a way that's completely out of my character that I don't even agree with and that I'm not even proud of. 
I don't know what it's like to be in those people's shoes. I don't. And if you know me at all, I am very passionate and I'm very outspoken when it comes to any sort of injustice. I have a really big problem with just like unfair situations. And I get life's not fair. The reason why it boils my blood is because a lot of times there is no justice. There's nothing that we can do. Um, there is an injustice done to us or to a group of people. And it's like, well, life's not fair. This is just how the cookie crumbles. You just got to deal with it. You know, that's a lot. That'll, that'll set somebody over the edge, especially when it's done repeatedly, just over years and years and years of our entire existence. I really try my best to have compassion for these people. Even though I don't necessarily agree with what they're doing, my heart breaks because like I said, I can't imagine what you must feel like inside to act in a way like how we're seeing. And then on top of that, the media and politicians and the 1% of the elite, you know, psychopaths that are behind the curtain literally controlling our lives and brainwashing us and conditioning us and using fear and hatred and violence and crime to keep us divided and keep us in a low, miserable vibration. We're not even gonna go down that rabbit hole. Um, I'm not a crazy conspiracy theorist. At this point, we know that we are being controlled. We, you know, there's a, an abuse of power and that the media and what is being put directly in front of our faces, it is always fear-based. It is always something that provokes a very negative feeling in us because that is how they control us. You're never going to see anything good on the news. Why is that? <laughs> because that's not what they want us to see. They don't want us to be happy, literally. They don't want us to be happy. The media, politicians, whoever is in charge here, all of them collectively, they're all intertwined. They literally do not want good things for us. If we were all happy and positive and compassionate and understanding and respectful and kind of one another. And if we lived in a planet that was based around empathy instead of hatred and divides, you wouldn't be able to be controlled. We are the majority. So think about the small amount of people that can literally influence an entire planet, an entire country. So they're not gonna be able to control us and influence us using positivity. They're never going to direct our focus to anything good. What we see on the news, what we see on social media, what they choose to broadcast to us is always going to be negative. Isn't it funny how in the blink of an eye, we all went from being focused on coronavirus to these riots and these protests. It's like, COVID-19, never heard of her, can't relate, don't remember. All of a sudden, just like that, it's like over and we're focused on something else because we are literally forced and brainwashed and controlled to focus on what they want us to focus on. So that's why I say, you know, yes, it is a good thing to be aware and to know what is going on in the world and pay attention, but we have to take our power back. I talk about this all the time, you know, it sounds very unrealistic for one person to just be like, well, I'm just gonna go out in the world and just change everything. I'm gonna change the world, I'm gonna change the planet, I'm gonna heal everybody. But the thing is, we actually do have the power to do this. We are, again, the majority and the power lies in our hands. We can blame police, we can blame the media, we can blame politicians, we can blame, you know, the psychopaths behind the scenes that are controlling it. But at the end of the day, we really do have all of the power and it starts individually with us. It starts in our home. It starts in our community. It starts with the way that we interact with people around us out in the real world. So we love to play the blame game. We love to play the victim game, but here's the thing. How many people out there in the world, everyday people like you and me, how many people out there are rude, disrespectful, bullies, we have to be the change, okay? We have to be the change. This is middle school shit at this point. So it starts with how we treat ourselves and how we treat the people directly around us in our own home. It starts with the way that you raise your children. What do you teach them? You know, what examples do we set? Why is it so difficult for people to just have respect for other human beings? It blows my mind how unbelievably nasty and rude and just full of hate people are. People are so not understanding of anything. You know, we do not try and understand other people's perspectives. So many people lack the ability to just for one second put their feet in somebody else's shoes. It's mind blowing. We are so judgmental. We hate people that are different than us. I'm sorry. 
I don't know who you think you are, but just because somebody's different from you, whether it's their race, their belief system, how much money they have, their education, you know, where they come from, their sexual orientation. Who do you think you are? If you think that just because somebody's different or lives in a way that you don't quite understand that doesn't resonate with you, guess what? It doesn't make you any better. We so badly want things to change in this world, yet human beings treat other human beings like complete garbage. Look at the way people talk to each other. Look at the way we tear other people down. How many people are just rude as hell? It's like, it's not that difficult. It starts with us. If we want anything to change, we have to be the change. This is very simple, basic shit at this point. Have a little bit of respect and kindness. That's all it takes. You don't have to understand what someone else believes. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to like it, but it's like, what is it gonna do to you to just have a little bit of compassion and basic respect for other human beings? It is so sad and pathetic that there are people out there that literally don't know how to respect other humans. Again, do some soul searching. If you are miserable all the time, it is because internally you are miserable. You need to go within and figure out what the hell's going on and try and fix it. Because otherwise you go out there in the world and you just spread your miserable, hating, negative, low vibrational energy to everybody else. It's like, we have to be the ones to change something. It's not that difficult. Be kind, hold the door open for somebody, say thank you, apologize, smile at somebody, say hello. It is not that difficult. These are basic things. And I'm like getting angry right now because it just blows my mind the lack of empathy and the lack of compassion that exists on this planet. And it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand why you would think that because someone is different from you that there's something wrong with them or there's a reason to be afraid or that you're better than them. You need a reality check. Because look, look at what look at what's happening. Look around at our reality right now. It is a result of a lot of people feeling broken down and treated like garbage and they've had enough and they're sick of the hatred and they're sick of the murder and it's like we can't blame everybody else. It starts with us. Like we are all human beings on the same planet. These borders, these divides, these groups, these labels, none of this shit was ever supposed to exist. So stop putting people in boxes. Stop with the hatred. Stop with the harsh judgments. Stop inserting your opinion that nobody gives a shit about. You're allowed to have your opinion and you can voice your opinion. But when it gets to the point that you are blatantly disrespecting somebody else, just shut your mouth. Nobody cares. Literally, nobody cares. Stop hurting people. Why do we do this? Why? because we're programmed and conditioned and mind controlled to think that this is how we're supposed to live. Human life and this whole experience on earth was never supposed to be this way. Newsflash, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. This body is a vessel that we use to come to this planet and explore. We were never supposed to live in hatred and violence and crime and racism, none of this was ever supposed to be part of the plan. It's time to evolve. It's time to grow up. The egos, God. So I guess, you know, what I really just wanna get across here is that you do not know what it is like to be in anybody's shoes but your own. You do not know what that person's life is like. You don't know how they feel internally about themselves. You don't know what their emotions are like. You don't know how people around them treat them. You don't know what kind of experiences they've had. You don't know the horror that they have seen in their lives. And this isn't just for people who are out there protesting racism. No, this is all of us. You've no idea what it's like to be someone else. So stop judging people, stop being rude, stop inserting your disrespectful opinion that, that is so unnecessary. Stop treating people like garbage. Somebody right next to you could be hurting in a way that you could never imagine, that you could never understand. And then here you are being an asshole, making the problem worse. Don't you wanna be happy? Don't you wanna live in a planet where it's positive? Imagine if every single one of us put our focus on ourselves and on treating other people with respect and just going out in the world and trying to be a decent human being. 
Imagine the world we would live in. It would literally be a different planet. You would not recognize it. But it all starts within us. The bogus, corrupt people that don't have your best interests at heart, that are literally brainwashing you and mind controlling you, they would lose their power. If we could all individually make an effort to just be better, to just have respect, to just be kind, to shut our mouths a little bit more, instead of inserting our harsh opinion that literally hurts the feelings of somebody else. Try and make yourself a better person. That way you go out in the world and you share that with people. The only thing that can change is us. And if we change, everything else changes. These are facts at this point. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just wanted to, I guess, kind of vent. So thank you for listening to me vent. I really do hope that somebody gained something from this video. I hope we can learn to just do better. At least try, you know? And like I said, it starts with you. It starts in your home. It starts in your small community. But if we could all just make an effort to just be a little kinder, everything would be different. And we would all be happier, all of us. So I guess I just wanna end this video by just putting the intention out there, sending my love to humans all over the planet and healing for all of the people that are so hurt. It really breaks my heart, all of the things that are just like taking place right now. We're so, we're so much better than this. At the very least, at this point, I think all we can do is really just hope that there is a positive change that comes out of this. And hopefully all this outrage and violence and anger is not for nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys join me tonight for Lior's meditation. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video.